This is Merlin from Tales from Learn. In this video, I'll be telling you how to install the Tales from Learn mod list. Anyone who's watching this who might not be using my mod list specifically, this tutorial should work just fine for you too. Keep in mind that our roleplay server is a Skyrim Together server, and so therefore all of the mods are made to be compatible with Skyrim Together. Before we can begin installing the actual mod list, there are three files we're going to need. The first is harbor 1.0.6.xe, which can be found from the link in the description. The second file is the Wabajack application. Click the second link in the description and then press download. Finally, if you're not already in the Discord server, make sure to join that from the link below. Go to the mod list channel, then select the version of the game that you want to install. In most cases, if you have a standard Nexus account or a lower end PC, please select Tales from Learn Lite the Wabajack. For those with premium Nexus accounts and more powerful PCs, either select the standard or the high quality versions of the mod list. In my case, I will be downloading the high quality version of the Wabajack mod list for Tales from Learn. To do this, simply press this download button and the download should automatically start. You can now safely close this window. Next, go to your downloads folder. From here, double click the Harbor 1.0.6 application. If you already have Skyrim Together installed, you won't need to do this. Click install anyway. Select the location where you want to install Harbor. In my case, I'll be selecting my hard drive, then creating a new folder called Harbor. Click OK. Then click install. Now untick the Run Harbor box and click finish. Next, double click Wabajack. Click install anyway. Once this is done, you should see a folder in the downloads folder called something like 2.4.1.1, depending on the version of Wabajack you have installed currently. Once the installation has completed, you can simply close this window, find the folder called 2.4.1.1 or the version number that you're using and rename it Wabajack. Next, right click Wabajack folder, click cut, then go to your hard drive or wherever you want to install all your programs and click paste. Make sure this is not on your desktop or anywhere else such as your downloads folder. Now in this drive you should have your Wabajack folder and your Harbor folder. Again, if you've already installed Skyrim together, you won't need to perform this step. Double click on Harbor, then double click the Harbor application. Once the application launches, it should say game not found. Simply press the magnifying glass. Then, find your Skyrim Special Edition folder. This version only works with legitimate copies of Skyrim Special Edition and will not work with pirated copies of the game. Click Select Folder. And now, it will perform an integrity check and download Skyrim Together for you. Once completed, it should say Play. Close the application. Next, go to Wabajack, press W, then scroll down to the Wabajack application. Double click the application and once here, click install from disk. Next, it should automatically find your mod list that was downloaded from Discord. If not, click set target path, go to your downloads folder and then select the Tales from Learn RP high quality, standard or light edition, whichever version that you had downloaded. Now select the file then click open. Next, for the installation location, set target path, go to your hard drive, then create a new folder called Tales from NERN. Make sure that the Tales from NERN folder is selected, then click select folder. This should automatically set your download location to Tales from NERN backslash downloads. If this doesn't show, make sure to add this at the end of the file path. If updating your mod list, then simply select overwrite installation. Otherwise, don't worry about this selection. Next, press the play button. And now your mod list will automatically install if you have Nexus Premium. If you're a standard Nexus user, simply go through and select each mod manually by pressing manual install. There should be a red box outlining what you need to press and you will have to go through each mod one by one to ensure that each mod is installed. To make your life a lot easier, I would personally recommend getting Nexus Premium. A link to their premium subscription can be found in the link below. 
Once Wabajack has finished installing the mod list for Tales from Learn, double click on the folder, go down to Skyrim SC directory, then in here, select all the files by pressing Ctrl A, then press Ctrl C. Next, find your Steam directory, click Steam Apps, Common, then scroll down to Skyrim Special Edition. From here, you can simply press Ctrl V to paste all the files into the directory. If you already have SKSE installed, simply press replace the files in the destination to update it. Next, go back to Tales from None folder, then scroll down to Mod Organizer. A very important step for whenever you play is to launch Mod Organizer from the Tales from None folder, as this Mod Organizer is a standalone version separate from your Vortex or Mod Organizer that you may have previously installed on your computer. Right click Mod Organizer, click Run as Administrator, then if it asks you for permission, click Yes. Next, select the drop down menu next to the Run button, then press the Edit button. From here, you want to press plus and click add from file. Again, locate your Skyrim Special Edition directory. And from here, select ST Loader. Once that's done, rename it to Skyrim together. Feel free to select user applications icon for desktop shortcuts. Then click apply and OK. For those with the standard and high quality versions, before you run the game, make sure to run Nemesis Unlimited Behavior Engine by pressing Run. Then select 360 Movement Behavior SE, Movement Behavior Overhaul and Character Behaviors Enhanced. Once that's done, select Update Engine. As you update your engine, your computer may freeze up. This is completely normal. Now it should say Engine Update Complete and however many seconds it's taken you can press Launch Nemesis Behavior Engine. Once complete, again, it will say Behavior Generation Complete. It's now safe to close this program. Now select the drop-down menu again, click Skyrim Special Edition Launcher, then click Run. This will only have to be done the first time before playing. Click Options, then select your settings. When that's done, click OK and then press Exit. And now, click Skyrim together and press run. If all goes well, you should see the alternate start character creation screen. From here, once you've created your character and chosen the start, you'll be able to connect to the server. If you found this tutorial helpful, please consider subscribing to the channel to keep up to date with our latest roleplay videos from Tales from None. If you're interested in joining the server, simply press the Discord link in the description below and you may feature in one of our future videos. Thank you so much for watching and hope to catch you in the next week's video.